Hello, A Period. This is an overview of today's lesson. We will see each other tomorrow as I will return to campus. I am still recovering today. I appreciate your patience. Of course, to start the class, make sure you report to room 945. Choose a seat as I have not assigned them to you yet. And you may use headphones to listen to this video. However, do not listen to this video while the visiting instructor is going over today's assignments. If you notice any of your classmates are lost or confused, you can also direct them to listen to this video, okay? All right, so to start the class, once you are seated and the visiting instructor has taken attendance, go ahead and begin the bell work assignment. You will need your electronic device. If you do not have access to an electronic device during class or if the battery is dying, you may complete this activity at home. Okay, so this quarter we're going to be studying Their Eyes Were Watching God, which explores African Americans uh, during the Harlem Renaissance era. Well, before the Harlem Renaissance, but the writer is a Harlem Renaissance writer. So what I want you to think about is what do you already know about the Harlem Renaissance? Why was this movement significant for African Americans? Next, what I want you to do is find quizzes from the course navigation bar. So you go here, click on quizzes, and when you click on quizzes, you'll see 121 Harlem Renaissance Anticipation Guide. There are 10 statements that I'd like for you to agree or disagree with. We are going to have a class discussion, so make sure you respond to those statements. Okay, again, use your electronic device to respond to those statements, and you have until tonight to do that. Make sure you have completed it by 1159. On all assignments, if you have a 504 or an IEP, of course you know the law gives you extra time. Okay, so whenever I state a deadline, extra time is given to 504 IEP. Your lesson today, which is to continue writing the ex essay you began yesterday, don't worry about uploading it right now. It's not due until the beginning of class tomorrow. While I'm there with you, I'm going to show you how to upload, uh, show you the e upload expectations. So hold on to your work. I don't want anybody panicking or stressing about turning in any assignments while I am absent. So you're going to write a 350-word essay explaining the importance of getting to know people before making a judgment about them. First, have you already completed your planning sheet? I will not accept your essay if you do not show evidence of an outline or pre-writing, some type of planning that is not drafting. Please don't just start writing the paper. If you start writing and you have not created a plan sheet, I will not accept your drafting, okay? Now, once you have a planning sheet, begin drafting. Remember, paragraphs are indented, okay? Make sure your paragraphs are indented and you have neat handwriting. You are free to use your electronic device to type a response. Access Google Docs on your uh, from your electronic device, and you may type your response. But keep in mind, paragraphs are indented. So this pa this paper is divided into an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. The introduction grabs the reader's attention and establishes your claim, where you will state. It is important to get to know someone before making a judgment about them because, and you will, and that's your thesis, okay? So after you grab the reader's attention and introduce your thesis, now it's time to present evidence to support your view. Usually when you're writing the FSA, they provide textual references, or if you're writing a research paper, you're free to go to the internet to find sources. For this paper, where are you going to receive evidence? Since we've all watched movies and read books, I would like for you to draw from that literary resource to cite evidence from a book or a movie you have watched, okay, uh, to support your position. Don't use any personal stories in the essay. All right, so let me make sure I stop that real quick and come back.
All right, so do not use any personal pronouns in the paper and make sure it includes introductory body and then a conclusion. For your conclusion, go back to the attention getter, refer to your attention getter. And if this is too hard for you, I'll be able to help you when I return. We'll be able to provide something. So at least just write the best conclusion you know how to do. Write the best introduction you know how. Okay, so just do the best you know how. When you introduce evidence from the movie or the uh, book that you've read, you, your job as the writer is to explain how does this evidence prove your position. That's the whole purpose of the paper. You have a thesis. It is better to get to know someone before making an opinion. You'll provide one, two, three examples from one movie, different movies, one book, different books, book, movie. You'll provide different examples, but for each, what I'm looking for when I read this paper, does this writer have the ability to prove how this evidence supports the claim? That's your job. If you have a weak explanation, then the paper is weak. So take your time explaining. A good explanation is no less than three sentences. No less, no less. Okay. So for each evidence that you offer, you want to have at least three sentences to explain what does this evidence mean? How does it show that your claim is correct? That's your job. Okay. And remember to include a reference to the book or movie, put it in parentheses. I'll go over MLA with you later, but when you cite evidence from the movie, put it in quotations, if it's direct or at the end of the reference, put in quotation marks, excuse me, parentheses, the title of the movie or the book. So you do have to cite that. Again, do the best you can. I will help you when I return.